What's going on YouTube? It's Spartan Warrior 5. And today I've got sort of a different kind of commentary for you guys here. I uh, just need to bring this up to attention to viewers, to friends, to whoever's watching. Uh, just about people in general, the Call of Duty community. Uh, generally, you guys gotta start calming down. Like, holy Jesus. Uh, I've been watching commentary videos, reading people's comments, and generally, they think every single gun, perk, equipment, anything in this game is cheap, bitchy, noobish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I really do not like that, because it makes me feel like, well, people are going to see me as a noob using these things. What can I do to make me appear less noobish to the Call of Duty community? I mean, there seems to be nothing that I can do to make people happy. But hopefully I'm making my viewers at home happy right now with my commentary videos. And uh, just another thing, guys that I've added and done private matches with, I'm not going to say any names, I'm not calling anyone out, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's been fun with all the private, match, private matches, but uh, first off, we got to switch it up, because quick scoping, no scoping, it's getting kind of repetitive with all the search and destroy and whatnot, I mean... With me now prestige for the second time, yes, this is old gameplay, I've prestiged again, need to get up for the models. Uh, I need to start leveling back up so I can do more Model 1887 guides. So, could we go into, I don't know, domination more often? Demolition? You know, could we change it up a bit here? I don't know. But again, here's what I wanted, wanted to get at with this whole private match thing. Uh, there was something happening that happened. I went into a friend's private match, we were quick scoping, and then I invited another one of my friends, and Hawk scored. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, another friend joined, and apparently he was hard scoping, and uh, they got really upset with him, calling him a douchebag, calling him a noob, whatever, and guys, I really do not like that. It's a game. Calm down, alright? It's not like your life's depending on it. And plus, hard scoping, I just learned this the other day in that match. It's when you have your scope up, like for a sniper rifle, you have it up and you see the crosshairs more clearly and you have it up for a couple seconds. Apparently that's hard scoping and apparently that's cheap. <sighs> alright, so... Christ almighty. I mean, it's like... Grow up and just grow a sack and deal with it. I mean, has anyone else noticed this before? I, I don't know. So, uh, generally, that's what I wanted to say to that. And guys, if you have any uh, class setup that you want me to go through and use, you know, write down a comment, personal message, and I'll see if I can do it. You know, have requested matches, like a certain game type, a certain map, a certain gun. I'll see what I can do, because I'm currently level 28, second prestige. Uh, yeah, definitely that. And uh, now let's start getting into some tactics here. I'm on Wasteland, doing domination. Now you'll see, uh, I'm generally running in their spawn, going at sea, checking this air... Air... Christ. I'm checking the airplane helicopter pad for spawn people so I can take them out. And generally on this map, you... Definitely want to control B. That is pretty much the center of attention. You have the Gatling guns. It's the easiest to defend, but it's the hardest to take. And so you're going to... Like, if you rewind the film, I go f straight for B at that one certain spot. It's like next to that one box, next to the tree in between there. That's a really nice, safe place to take B at the beginning. And when if you can hold down B and take A or C, generally you're going to win on this map doesn't matter if you're playing with your teammates, like your friends, it doesn't matter if you're just playing with a bunch of random people, you're going to get the win. So, we've lost B now. I don't know if we've had it for a while, lost it, or I'm not sure. But I'm trying I'm trying to take B back, <laughs> and um, I want to be able to hold down B again. But we've taken A and C, and generally you do not want to do that, because... Everyone's going to be spawning at the center, and an erratic spawn, and it's just going to be crazy. 
Another tip that generally I really do not do a good job right here is this bunker. You do not want to stay in the bunker because it's prime, like a prime spot for noob tubes, for RPGs, for grenade spam with one man army. Do not stay in this bunker for a long period of time. I know I don't show it in this video. I don't know. I was just. I was picking up some kills, but I got lucky. Alright, that's the main point. I got lucky this match. These guys weren't noob tubing as much. They were more quick scoping with ACOGs and all that. But uh, do not stay in that bunker. And I'll probably, hopefully, show a video on that. Um. I mean, a lot. You can get a lot of kills, but you also get a lot of deaths. If you do, if you don't want to get like a high uh, death, like ratio, I guess you want to say, like you don't want to die a lot. Do not stay in the bunker. All right, stay on the outsides, and pick off people with your assault rifle, your LMG, because whoever has the high ground will win the battle. All right. Not a lot of commentators say this, but you know it's just a proven fact that you are going to ha win. If you have the high ground, because you can look down and just shoot them, and they have to look up, which is generally harder to do in this game. I know it sound, sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, it's just a general war rule. If you have the high ground, you're going to win. All right? That's it. And here's another thing uh, campers. Whenever someone says, hey, stop camping, stop camping, it's like, well, a soldier wouldn't run out there and run gun, now would they? They'd be camping. Guys, let me say something here. No soldier in his right mind would hide in a corner and just pick off enemies that they're going by. If you guys want, I could do a history of war tactics and war strategies, but I'm not going to do that for this video. I've taken a class, World European History, and we've done a lot of war coverage. So, generally, that... Uh, I just lost my train of thought again. <laughs> Something's going on upstairs. Uh, w soldiers nowadays, they're tactically camping. They're going to a position, defending it, clearing it out. You know, Then they're going to go to the next position, clear out the enemy, defend it. That's what they do. They don't camp. They're not standing in corners, picking off enemies as they go by. That, that's not what a soldier does. So if you ever hear a camper say that, call him a douchebag, call him a bitch, you know. They're just making up excuses. And with excuses, this happened to me the other day. I joined a match, like, just joined one. They were at the last kill. Like, our team had the last kill. I ran around a corner. I got the guy for the last kill cam. I plugged in my microphone just to, I don't know, I was just wearing my headset. And this guy was like, okay, guys, we're going to pack up sleeping bags and pillows and marshmallows because we're camping. Directed at me, because I got the last kill cam. It's like, alright, you cannot say someone's a camper as an excuse for your suckage. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might be accused of this sometimes. Uh, I try not to. I try calling people campers when they're in corners. Because that's my definition of a camper. I don't know what you guys think a camper is. But for me, it's someone who hides in a corner consistently for a large amount of time. Uh, I don't know if you guys think I'm wrong. If I'm right, leave a comment. I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, there's a whole controversy with Wings of Redemption, how he camps. Guys, he's not exactly a camper. He's not hiding in corners. He's securing a position and just playing defensively. There's a difference between camping, defensive play, and tactical camping. Camping hardcore is in a corner, laying down claymores, you know, you're not going to move at all. Playing defensive is staying in that same area, but you're moving a lot. You're not moving to a different area. You're staying in the same area. You know what I'm saying? And a tactical camper will stay in an area, defend it, move on to a new area, defend it, kill off enemies, move on to another area. So tactical campers are more like running gunners, if anything. Like a blend of running gunners and campers. And that's what I do sometimes. This is what I'm doing here. I can't grab that package. I don't know why. Uh, that's what I generally do with assault rifles, S, uh, LMGs. That's what you're going to see me do. And that's how I get my high scoring games. I tactically camp. And that would be my suggestion to you guys if you want to get a high KD. You tactically camp. Alright? You're not going to be called a bitch. You're not going to be called a noob. 
uh, if someone's just being a douchebag and saying, oh, you're a douchebag, noober, blah, 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 then yeah, you're going to be called that. Because there are haters out there, guys. There are haters who will hate your gameplay, your styles, the weapons you're using. Just get over it and move on. Just have fun with the game. It's a video game. You spent money to have fun, not to be anal retentive about your KD. Which, by the way, mine is now officially at a 1.0. I feel pretty good about that one. So, video's starting to kind of come to a close here. Uh, final score is 28 to 8. Uh, got a few more minutes here. Uh, what else should I be talking about here? I really don't know. Thank you all subscribers and friends and viewers at home and commenters. You guys are all great people. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more commentaries, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Go Hawks.